Good morning, guys. We're at Family Dollar, and right off the bat, buy one toy, get one 75% off. Toy is $5 and up. But they gave us a 5 off of 25 to use, which not might be a good deal to use it with the toys. Anyway, yeah, so let's get started. Hopefully we can come up with some good deals to do. They didn't give us any great deals, but I think we can still do some pretty good things with this. You guys, you know, I'm starting to sense I've been doing a lot of digital deals. I leave a lot of paper coupons, insert coupons on the table. Do you guys find that it is easier to use the digital coupons or do you mix with the paper coupons? I'm just interested to know. And what are you guys gonna get when you go to Family Dollar? Comment below, I'm curious to find out. The first thing I'm gonna do is we have buy one Airwick, get one free. They're priced at $5, so the coupon will take off $5. I'm gonna pick up two of those. And I think I'm gonna pick up this vanilla and pink papaya. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the detergent because I'm going to pick that up. I'm going to do two transactions today. A paper deal and then um, just a regular deal that will be under $10. I still have that gain coupon for the gain flings on my account. So I'm going to pick up one gain flings priced at $3.95. And I'm going to use the $2 digital on the app making it $1.95 after the coupon. I'm going to grab two of them. And look, I'm getting a new scent. But one is for the first transaction and then one is for the second transaction. I just don't want to have to repeat myself and do a, do a do-over. And then we have the Purex crystals. I was wondering how much they cost because we have a $1.50 coupon and they're $4. I thought they might be 3 So you know I'm not going to get that. But this is a larger bottle. Well, it looks like a larger bottle bigger than the one at Dollar General. The next thing I'm going to pick up is a Tide detergent and it is $4.95 and we have a $2 digital on the app. I'm picking up two of those. Um, one for my first transaction and one for my second. And really for my second transaction I am going to get two of them. And I don't know if the digital, will, both digitals will come off because sometimes because Tide is one um, per purchase, it may not come off. So just in case that one doesn't come off, I'm going to pick up a Tide Pod because it's $4.95 and we got a $2 digital today. That'll make that $2.95 also. Then I'm going over near the paper products because I'm going to pick up one Charmin TP and... Oh my goodness, they don't have the Charmin Basics. I wanted the toilet paper and the paper towels. I'm gonna have to look around. Sometimes they're in the middle of the floor. That's gonna mess up my transaction if they don't have that. Well, we have the Charmin Essentials and it's $5.50 and the dollar digital makes it $4.50. So I'm gonna pick that up. And then let me go over here and see if I can find the uh, paper. I have walked right past it guys. So the Charmin is on sale for $5. The $1 digital will make that $4. As you can see right there. Um, hopefully that should complete my first transaction. So let me add everything up and um, I'll see you in a bit. I'm also going to need for my first transaction a Crest toothpaste. And we have a $2 digital, so I'm going to grab a $3 Crest toothpaste. And it'll be a dollar after the $2 digital on the app. And for my last item on my first transaction, I'm going to grab one Febreze at $3. We have a $1 digital for that. And this transaction will be a little high, only because I'm getting the paper products, guys. 
next transaction won't be high. Okay, here's everything that I picked up. My total for everything is $25.40. After the five off of 25 comes off, and then all of the other coupons, your total is $11.40, which I think is a good price because of both paper products. Now you can take out one of the paper products and get some other stuff, and it could be a little bit cheaper, but once again, this is the transaction that I would normally do, just me personally. Now we'll do the second transaction, and that one will be a better out of pocket for you guys who over $10 is just way too much. Okay, here's my first transaction. Everything went pretty much just like I said, guys. And here's my receipt. The Charmin Essentials, $1 digital came off. And as you know, Family Dollar calls their coupons smart coupons. And this is all digital. The Bounty Essentials is $1. I'm sorry, $5.50, the $1 digital came off. The Crest Toothpaste, the $2 digital. The Febreze, the $1 digital came off. And the Gang Flings, our $2 digital came off. The Thai Liquid, the $2 digital came off. There's the $5 smart coupon, $11.40 before tax. Thirteen oh eight after tax, which is not bad considering that I got both paper towels and toilet paper. So this transaction, since it's all digital, have the cashier scan all of your items, punch your number into the pin pad. You won't have to do anything else. And when the cashier pushes total, all of your digital should come off, and you just make sure that your subtotal is eleven forty because our tax will be different. Now let's move on to the second transaction. The second transaction, I'm going to start off with a Crest toothpaste at $3. And use a $2 digital on the app. If you mix or match with my scenario, you can pick up any $3 toothpaste. You don't have to pick up the one I picked up. And because I am a little about a dollar fifty under um, $25, I'm going to grab two of these chips. Two for a dollar fifty. I remember when these were two for a dollar, guys. When did that change? Yes, I could have gotten something else, but I'm already at the front of the store, so I'm gonna grab this, hey guys. And I just wanted to say, I have the Tide Pods sitting over to the side, just in case both of the Tide liquids don't come off, because sometimes Family Dollar won't let you use two of those coupons, because I've tried before. So if it doesn't, then I grab the Tide Pod so I won't have any problem and exchange it with the Tide because they're the same price. But all together, all of my items should be $25.35 for everything. After the five off of 25 it comes off and all of the coupons, which equals $16 in coupons, my total should be $4.35. And what I would suggest, I'm a, I was up at the front of the store, so I grabbed these while I'm up at the front of the store. So I, I don't feel like walking back, but go get something that you need for a dollar fifty or whatever, what is left over. If you do my scenario, get something, not junk, if unless you want it. Get a body wash, um, additional cleaner, some dish soap, something else, where you actually will need that. Something useful, not the two Cheetos for a dollar fifty. That's because I'm trying to swear off sweeties, and. My son will eat that, so I'm not going to be too much worried about it, but I'm trying not to have him in the house because most likely if I have it in the house, you know you're doomed. But let's go check out, guys. Okay, I am back. Everything worked out perfect. Once again, this is all digital. Just have the cashier scan all of your items, put your number into the pin pad. All of your digital coupons should come off, and you should pay $9.35 after tax. And here is my receipt. You see the $5 digital came off for the Airwick, because it's buy one get one free. $2 digital for the Game Flings. Both $2 digitals came off for the Tide, so I didn't need the pods. And then um, there's my Cheetos, two for $1.50, $9.35 before tax, $10.97 after tax. That tax is a killer, y'all. I hate it. But this is my transaction for this week guys a family dollar I hope you were able to use 
um, something that I put up or this just inspired you to come up with your own ideas or even if it just helps you out just a little bit. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will definitely see you next video. Peace out.